everyone, it's Dragon Lee here, back with another video, and today we're going to be looking at top 10 flattest spots to build your base anywhere. This is just across the map. Now, I did get a suggestion to only do snow, and this is what actually brought this idea to mind. And I didn't want to only do snow because that wouldn't really be a full video because uh, we, we all know snow is not really the flattest terrain in on the island so we're just gonna make this a whole a, the whole map but i will definitely start off with the snow there is no particular order that this goes in and this is just off of my favorite spots that are flat and are good and whatever like this is just goes off of that so yeah um if you're new make sure to like and subscribe um join the community i post once or twice weekly maybe even more if i have time um and yeah so before we get into that, I would like to flex off my mutation because I'm so bad at breeding, but I actually got these um, mutations to merge finally. I already got these two to merge and I like that a lot, but you know, I, I like this one more and I really want like a teal mu for the stomach. One week later. Like a week later, I got the aqua stomach mutation. That's so ironic. I also got a green mutation too. And let me know what you guys think, because I think that this turned out wonderful, and I love this so much. It's so, so amazing. But yeah, so let's get in to the video. Coming at number 10, we have Lat 28, Long 18. Um, this is definitely one of the flattest spots on the map, and I was surprised to see that this base just popped out of nowhere here. Um, but yeah, as you can see, um, this base is actually, there's a lot of potential to build here. I don't really know why they build on pillars when you can build flat on the ground. However, this base looks very beautiful. I'm not going to attempt to move because I have a feeling it's going to lag or crash or something. I mean, maybe I'll give it a try. Let, let's see. Let's see. Oh, well, well, they have battlements surrounding the area. That's nice. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, there is a really nice base fill here and it's very flat. It's like in a little crater and it's across from the iceberg, which we will be going to next. This is the one of the really good spots because it's a little trail that leads down to it. And it's very, very secluded. There's a nice view. Um, and there's a lot of space to do whatever you'd like here. So if you're willing, if you want to build in the snow and you really want a good spot, this is definitely a really good spot to build. Highly recommend. Coming in at number 9, we have Lat 29, Long 12. This is an iceberg that is very, 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 very useful. And I think it is the best iceberg to build on in the entire map. Um, it's right across from that place over there that we just witnessed. I'm surprised that there's no base here because last I checked, I think Axar built here last I checked, but I don't see his base. I think he demolished it or something. But as you can see, there is a, it's like basically a huge island. You have a really flat spot to build here. You have more flat space over here, but not only is it so flat, but you have built-in water pens as well. As you can see, it leads all the way down to the um, outer surface of the land, and you can just, you know, swim up, and you have your own little hole to park your teams. It's an, a built-in water pen. It's just, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. And you can also put cantilevers. I'm pretty sure this is also a built-in water pen. Um, and then if we make a little, a little um, bird's eye view here of the base spots, it goes very high, as you can see. You can even build up here if you'd like around the little rim. And overall, it's basically just a huge herbivore island in the snow. In fact, I think it might even be better than Herbivore Island in some aspects, especially the water taming pen. And it's very secluded, has some oil drops on it as well, so you don't really have to keep traveling. And yes, this is a very good spot to build. It's nice and flat, really secluded, and yes, highly recommend. Next on the list is 1312. There is a little uh, thing built here, but, and it's, this one might be a little bit less convenient to build on if you're not like if you don't have like admin or or whatever because really you're on an iceberg and Thames can't request two icebergs so it's going to be a huge pain if you're a regular player to get all of your Thames back and forth from the island to the mainland um especially since it's not like the other iceberg over there where it's um more like it's closer to the land it's going to be a lot more of a trek to get to where you want to go on the mainland. However, 
Um, if you have a tech teleporter or if you are an admin or whatever, it's a really good flat spot to build. Um, the top is really, really flat. Um, the bottom is really flat as well. And there's a little crater, as you can see. We have a little um, stadium here for events. If you're a server owner or a server admin, you can also make this an event island. So there's no like real tames that need to be parked here. It's just for events. Um, overall, this spot is really good. I like this spot a lot. Um, I've personally never built here, but I've had tribe mates who built here. Um, they can build on the top, they can build on the bottom. And this spot has just been, it's really good and secluded. Actually, it's very secluded. Um, you can even build along the rim on this side if you'd like. And there's also a rim on the other side as well, over here. And overall, it's very, very flat. You might find a few bumps here or there, but it's still extremely flat. And overall, this is just a really good spot in the snow biome to build your base. Wow. Wow. I I'm surprised. I'm genuinely surprised that I didn't crash going here. I'm so used to crashing. Anyway, next up on the list is 1540. So, lot 15, long 40. Um, this little island here is a very, very good spot in the snow to build. One, it's on the land, right? It's like a peninsula, but for the snow. You have a little waterfall here, like a little winding river. Um, you can build here. You might recognize this spot from where my tribe mate, Sin City, used to have his base. I did a basis of arc on this a while ago. Now we have this thing, I'm guessing Almighty Griffin. Yes, Almighty Griffin um, has a little stadium here. Very, very beautiful. This is definitely a good spot to claim. Um, and it's really close to the mainland. You have your oil spawns right here and there. You have some wood going on here. You have a lot of mammoths and rexes that spawn across there. So prime meat galore. Um, you have a really close water area and it actually goes very deep as well. So you can park your tames pretty much right up to the surface, which is very, 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 very handy. If you're going to build here though, I do recommend putting up a battlements or turrets. And if you don't want to put battlements or turrets, then your base is probably going to get destroyed. And let me tell you why. Because over here is definitely a spot where gigas tend to spawn. Um, they spawn, it can spawn like right on this mountain and they can make their way down the corner. In fact, I find my gigas like 90% of the time on that mountain over there. And so you should definitely put up battlements because you don't really want a giga coming into your base and, you know, killing all your stuff. So... You should definitely do that but overall this spot's really nice um it's it's literally on the mainland it's very very handy um really nice and flat as well beautiful to build on um and yeah so this is definitely a really good spot to build highly recommend next flattest spot on this list is 7726 this spot is very flat there's water really close by as you can see there's water very close by you are really close to the red obelisk. You are really close to a lot of water, um, which I said before, I'm pretty sure. Um, you were close to a lot of trees. You were close to a lot of rock. Um, there are a lot of really major resources that you are close to here, so you can build a pretty decent base. I'd say metal might be a problem, but if you have a flyer, maybe not. Um, this entire spot is very flat. Oh my gosh, okay. So laggy, man. Um, this entire spot's really, really flat, as you can see. It reaches pretty far as well, um, and you can put battle wins. I'm surprised no one's taken this spot, actually. It's very, very good. Um, I might build here in the future, but this is definitely a really flat spot on this island. That's very good to, you know, conquer for yourself, especially because of its beautiful, beautiful flatness and its cliff. If you have the platform cantilever... Um, and Graham, very, very good spot, very good spot. I, I like this spot a lot, and I might actually build here in one of my other servers. Very good. Coming next to the list, we have 3649. This is um, actually right next to the other spot, just right over there. Um, and this spot is really, really useful for a few reasons. So there is water pretty, uh, it's, it's not the closest, but you can probably stretch some irrigation going down to the Redwood River over there. Very, very useful. Um, this is a very flat spot. I actually had a tribe mate build here before. I'm pretty sure his wires are still here. Yeah, I have to get to breaking that at some point. But yeah, so my tribe mate actually used to live here. It was very, very flat. Um, and he had some irrigation stretching, I'm pretty sure. It's close to a cave, central cave, right over there, literally right around the corner. You have metal up there. You have a volcano over there, which is really good for obsidian and metal. And then you also have 
a really easy um, way to get some oil and stuff from over there. You have wood. This is a really, really good resourceful spot. And if you're looking for a good flat resourceful spot, this is definitely a really good place to build. Highly recommend. However, you might need battlements again because gigas do spawn near the volcano. They do spawn on that mountain over there, I'm pretty sure. And so you might find yourself a giga or you might find yourself a titan. I'm pretty sure I've seen two titans spawn here before. And there's also a few raptors, RG that spawn, so you might need turrets and whatever. But if you are good with all of that, this is a really, really good resourceful spot and I highly recommend it. All right, y'all, we have the volcano. The volcano is a very, very good spot to claim. However, if you are in, you know, unofficial servers, most server owners will actually either claim this spot for themselves or make it off limits for all building for one of two, for a few reasons. One, because this is a really good spot to build. So if your um, admins actually took this spot, then that's because it's a really good to build. Two, it's a really, really good place to farm metal. And so if no one built there and no one is allowed to build there, it's probably because it is a really good spot to farm metal and no one really wants to, you know, hog all of that. So that's a good reason. However, if you are allowed to build here, it is a very good spot. As you can see, it's very flat. You have a lot of minerals. You have a lot of rocks. You have a lot of metal. You have a lot of crystal. Um, you are short on like berries, water for one, and wood. However, that really isn't that hard to get because there is a little trail that leads all the way down the volcano. Um, I think it's, yeah, it's lit up by crystal leaf and that's pretty cute. Um, that can lead you down to the surface where you can get your wood and then you can come back up. So it's a very, very good spot. Um, really, really good actually. And in this server, you are allowed to build on the outskirts of this land. So you are not, well, you are not necessarily allowed to build in it, but if you're allowed to build outside it and it's a really good spot. It's like right in the middle of the island, very, very easy to spot. So if you're not very good with coordinates, it's literally just a volcano here. Let me get, let, let me snatch those coordinates for you. Um, Forty three thirty nine. Very very good spot. Highly recommend. Look at this. You can even build around the edge. It's so like flat. Look, we have a few cantilever platforms here as well. Very 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 good spot. Really recommend this spot. It's great. All right, guys. Next up on the list is forty seven eighty three. Um, I'm surprised this spot. Actually, no. I'm actually not surprised this spot was taken up. Um, this spot is taken by the Tasian tribe in the server. Very, very good spot, honestly. So as you can see, this is one of the flattest spots near a really wide variety of stuff. So uh, let me explain why this spot is definitely one of my favorite spots on this map. Um, so first of all, it's flat and the flatness ranges so, so far down. Like it might get a little bit lower as we go down, but you can add a little bit of pillars if you'd like. And also, the steepness. Hold on, let, let me just explain. So this is a really good spot if you have a lot of water tames because you can put them right up to the surface, as you can see, because it just gets so flat. Like, look, 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 it just goes completely like a 90 degree drop after a while. And you can park Moses right up to the surface here. And it is such a good spot to have a water pen. Really, a really great spot. I'm surprised this tribe hasn't actually taken advantage of that. But yeah, super flat, as you can see. Super, super flat. Um, super, super good water pen. You are close to Griffin Mountain, which has a little bit of metal. You are close to wood. You are close to water. You are close to a lot of good materials. And it's very, very flat. Very nice place to build. Highly recommend building here. Definitely. All right, guys. So the next spot is 5868, which in turn is Green Obelisk. Um, Green Obelisk is a very, very, very popular spot to build because all around this spot, we're just gonna include all around this spot as one thing. So first of all, a really popular spot to build are these little um, cliff sides because they're very, very flat. Cantilever platforms are, you are able to put them so you can actually increase the range of how you can build. Um, you have little craters over here, and you have little spots over here that is extremely, extremely flat. Like, this spot is probably one of the really, really flat spots on this map. Like, pretty flat, extremely flat. Um, so this is definitely a really good spot to build around Green Obelisk. You're very close to an obelisk, pretty close to water. Um, you have a lot of, you know, rocks going on here. So you're really close to all the basic materials. 
Um, you're really close to redwood, so I guess you can consider that close to metal. And then even over here, uh, if you wanted to build down here, it's also a really flat area all across there. Extremely, extremely flat. Very, very interesting. As we can see, it's a very, very, very good spot. I'm surprised no one's actually built here in this server yet because it's very flat. Um, so if you're looking for a flat spot, this is definitely one of the flattest spots on the map. Might not be the easiest to build since it's not that large, but it's pretty flat. And if you wanted to build a pretty decently large base, this is definitely the spot right here. Really, really great. Good, good, good spot. Uh, definitely anywhere around here, anywhere around this obelisk is a really good spot. So just like surrounding the circular spot of this obelisk. Very, very good spot. Highly recommend. <laughs> Oh, brother. Wow. So laggy. I forgot how laggy this base was last time I did bases of work. Um, I'm not going to attempt to move. I mean, maybe, maybe not. Likely not, but... Ooh, very, very laggy. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, as we can see, this spot is 5920. This spot is very, very good because one... One... Uh, my base is right over there, but one... There's a really good water pen here. There's a really good like place for water um it's very flat you can add cantilevers as you can see there are a few cantilevers added here we can see that there's a lot of tame parking there's a lot of potential for really nice bases and yeah this spot was home to many players along the course of the server's existence um and now it is home to mogul moves before it was home to like sakai and other things like that but yeah this tribe has definitely become one of the greatest tribes on the server really really nice base going on and i think that this base really helps expand the reach of teams and blah 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 very very nice stuff going on here love how this looks very laggy but this is definitely a really good spot um especially because of the water and everything going on so yeah this is definitely one of the really really good flat spots upon this upon this list so yeah that is that Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. Of course, if you did enjoy and you did actually learn something from this video, why not subscribe or, you know, leave a like or comment something, you know, just get a conversation going. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Of course, if you did enjoy, do not forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.